हेलो एवरीवन नमस्ते आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट टुडे सो आई एम योर होस्ट निधि प्रकाश एंड माय को होस्ट इज आल्सो हियर विद मी माय हस्बैंड अजय प्रकाश है अजय हे एवरीवन हाउ आर यू सो टुडे वी आर हियर फॉर दिस जेंटेंगल सेशन एंड एज यू कैन सी ऑन माय आर्ट टेबल वी आर गोइंग टू यूज वेरियस ऑर्गेनिक टेंगल्स टुडे सो and you know i uploaded one video yesterday on my youtube channel where i worked on these all five tiny tiles the tangles which we are going to use in our today's style this is our today's style this is the colored version and we are going to use festoon aquaflor quib pepper and yenex and maybe few more which we have done earlier we are going to work on a zentangle tile that is 3 and 1/2 inch square if you don't have a paper tile you can just draw 3 and 1/2 inch square on your any paper any printer paper drawing sheet whatever you have and in past week i made one this tile with the string n i hope you can see that n so and i started a series of string tiles and a focus tangle on the youtube and i uploaded i didn't upload the video of this one but i have uploaded the video of this focus tangle flux i hope you can see that string the kind of curvy s so you can see this flux focus tangle tile where i have used flux in various ways and the tangulation of flux into the flux different sizes and shading the video of this is available and i just uploaded i think 2 3 days ago and here we go for our this you can call it a botanical tile or some kids you know they call it like kind of the underwater scene so you can call them anything but they all are the abstract zentangle abstract tangles which we are going to draw today so the first tangle which we are going to draw which we are going to start with is a aquaflor and i'm going to use this micron 01 pen right now so please look carefully and let's start so somewhere near here we are not going to make four dots and the string in this one this because this is a a uh, no string tile this is kind of the loose tile so we are just going to start with the tangles so uh, before we start i would like you guys to take few moments and just uh, you can you know the first step of the zentangle method when you see it's the gratitude and appreciation so that makes our heart big and we feel happy about it so you can you know feel uh, gratitude about whatever um, is good is happening to you around or at least with these supplies whatever you have and this time you are taken out with me right now and we start the tangling now so somewhere here in the bottom right side in our tile we'll start with this wavy line kind of a coralish you know shape and it's absolutely fine if your this shape is not looking absolutely mine it's better if they all are different because this is a pure organic tangle it can be you know wavy and little roundish but uh, not exactly like this it can be of any style now here is kind of the starting point or the end point where we are going to join all of our these wavy curvy styles so look here i'm just going to draw this one curvy line and two curvy line coming along kind of a little tiny hook on the outside as if it's wrapping around this shell kind of the shape and we'll draw this line join this line 
you will kind of fill this area you know and we will fill this area we'll leave little space in between that is absolutely optional if we want we can fill the hole and later on we can use you know uh, the white jelly roll pen or any white ink pen or maybe uh, we can use white charcoal pencil for the highlights or we can leave this as sparkle it's absolutely our choice so this is our one stripe and we keep on making these stripes as far as close it's your choice how you want to go about it and join these loops fill the rest of it so that's how we are going to make all of our these stripes don't forget to make this you know wavish line don't try to draw very straight stripes try to avoid that join the loops if you want we can draw all the stripes first and then we can fill these stripes that is absolutely our choice how we want to go about it one stroke at a time so take your time draw slow enjoy the process Don't fill that area like the loop kind of the area that's giving it a 3D-ish look and that's showing that these stripes are kind of you know wrapping this shell kind of the shape. Keep twisting your tile so that you get a good angle. I filled this one hole and I'm going to use the white jelly roll pen on this later on just to show you the different way of doing that one and we can achieve kind of the same effect. then here let me first fill this one then I'm going to make that loop then here I'm going to make this loop here and in the loop I'm going to make the stripe which is coming down and 
maybe if we want we can make one more stripe going up so based on the space you can make as many stripes okay so this is our aqua filler but we haven't done any you know we can uh, put a lot more our embellishments to this like if we want we can draw little tiny aura lines around every of these stripes these curvy lines this is absolutely optional guys if you don't want to do it you can skip this step So if you want to practice it more, you can just see my last video where I made all these tangles separately and you can practice and you can make your own collection of all the, you know, different uh, these tangles like and you can keep those collections in any of your book or any of your folder, all of you can keep all them separate like all the organic tangles or the botanical tangles or all the grid tangles which you can use for the base or for the different other parts filler so that is really helpful to keep your tangles in organized way like that and oops it seems like the casting is ended sorry guys just give me a second sorry guys <laughs> it's some glitch so this is the one aqua filler and still we are left with a lot of uh, shading and all that stuff that we are going to do and in this one you see instead of making the aura line i made these dotted lines in the center they are also going in a little wave based on the stripes so there are various ways this is not only just they are not just only these two waves these two styles for the assembly you know to design your aqua filler you can put many more ways and you can add your own elements to decorate it so now i'm just waiting for 30 more seconds for you guys to catch up and then we'll start the next tangle together so till then let's see whoever is drawing along with me and who is just enjoying watching the drawing so write down one if you are drawing along with me write down two if you are just watching the video and enjoying it and maybe you can draw it later let's see thank you karuna thank you roberta kelly awesome thank you sona so i would highly appreciate if you uh, you know post your uh, these uh, final your final tile picture on my facebook page in that post or maybe at your own facebook page and if you can just add me and just give me um, some Thank you, Manas and Carmilla. Just add any hashtag or something to me so that I can also see that work. So that makes me happy and gives me kind of the fuel to keep, uh, you know, keep making these kind of sessions. And if you see, this is the pattern which we are going to do next Saturday in a little bigger tile, six inches square. That's kind of the Zendala. So this is the next Saturday pattern okay uh, thank you Gitika. I'm at Instagram also I'm not very very active I'm uh, still trying to be but uh, yes 
uh, I'm there with the name Nidhi Prakash Arts. So you can uh, tag me there too. Now after this aqua filler, we are going to work on pepper. So this is the pepper tangle and we are going to make pepper somewhere here towards the left hand side of this aqua filler. Okay guys. But before the pepper, before we start doing the pepper, I would like to draw few of the, uh, you know, you know, these tiny, they are kind of the either hollies you can call or maybe you can call them the unfurled mocha. So they are going from the base here and they are kind of, you know, going anywhere round. like this this is one and they are kind of you know you can call them tentacles or some beautiful sea anemones or whatever kids used to give beautiful name in my classes when we do that and that bring a lot of smile and laugh they can go anywhere in any direction After that, we are going to do the pepper. So actually, Holly's tangle also goes like that. But in the Holly's, we generally start from the other, you know, other arm. And we keep on kind of, uh, you know, expanding in the hole. But in this one, we are kind of starting from the one point. So I'm not sure either still we can call it Holly's or it's the mocha unfold but last week also I uploaded one video on the mocha unfold tangle this one the whole tile with the colored waterfall so this is also available on my uh, YouTube and I made moon pie and sprinkle also in this one So you can get inspiration from various tangles and the best part is that you can make them your own style. You can change, you can deconstruct them the way you want to, uh, you know, your design is requiring or that is the fun working with these tangles. So this is the Micron 01 Pigma and the size is 0 0.25 mm. 0 0.25 mm uh, I'm not sure if it's visible clearly it's written very tiny but yeah it's 0 0.25 mm is the tip size and if the number of the pen you say then it is the micron 01 Okay, here you go that's more than enough it's looking pretty so in one of my graphite art class we were doing that negative positive drawing and we are doing something like that so kids call it like kind of we are doing um, we are making the you know that eight sided the octopus kind of thing and it's giving me that thing so now we are drawing the pepper guys it's not really necessary that it's kind of the rep triangularish it can be circle oval and organic any roundish shape whichever you feel like fitting in this area I'm kind of making uh, a little again we wish style that is hiding behind this aquafiller and these hollies are kind of covering over it so if you want you can just use a pencil and draw a tiny circle in between very lightly otherwise you can just skip this step and just visualize it in your mind and then you can start making the stripes again kind of these they are going 
from center to the corner not absolutely to the center we'll leave little space in the center and these lines are kind of wider from the edges and you can also make them little tiny out let me just focus it more and it would be great if you draw these line is also in a little bit more you know in the directional then that will create more drama to your tangle and we keep on making this thing in all four sides of our this beautiful organic shape which we drew just now it can be circle it can be absolutely round it's not really necessary that it is supposed to be uh, like exactly the way i drew uh, so there's a question from dev harshi uh, what is the measurement of the so uh, Bharti, I'm using Zentangle original tile. This is a three and a half inch square. If you don't have this tile, you can draw a three and a half inch square on any paper and you can start working. And if you have little bigger tile, you can make the same design in a little bigger tile also. So that's not a problem. Maybe you can use a little thick tip pen and you can make the same design in a four inch square or maybe a five inch square tile. And you can call that a Zentangle inspired art. Uh, Kiran Mai is asking, could we draw in a different page? Uh, yeah, why not? I didn't get the actual question actually. Uh, what do you mean by the different page? Like you can draw on any page. That's not the problem. You know, that's that there is no hard and fast rule for the Zentangle that you have to have this kind of tile. This is the option and this is a very good option, but there are various other other options available. And if you don't have any kind of tile, printer paper is the best. Just go for it. Don't stop your creativity because of the tools. Whatever tool you have, you can start, right? Creativity should flow. When I was in school, I used to make all my pattern drawing and all my tangles in my rough notebook in every class because that rough notebook is common in all the classes. So I used to do a lot of these tangling in all those, you know, line uh, books and then... Uh, so you should not stop your creativity if you don't have the right tools. Whatever you have, you can just work along with them. So if you have any questions, you can write down in the chat. If you want to ask any questions later, you can ask me through my Facebook page or you can join my Discord and we can chat there easily. You can ask questions. You can submit your artwork there also at my Discord and you can submit your other artworks too if you are working on any project or anything at home and if you want to share with us or if you want any comments, any suggestions on any of your other art projects you are most welcome take care of this over and under concept like our these hollies are on the top so don't draw over the hollies okay and keep rotating your tile so that you get perfect angle to make these stripes and again now I'm done with this beautiful pepper and now we are left with the shading that we are going to do at the last 
once we are done all the drawing all the tangling and now after that we are going to draw lots of festoons so this is the festoons so I planned the style and I chose all these tangles which goes together very well and they are all kind of the same category so that's why this this particular tile is having lots of different different angles and uh, still it will look like kind of a cohesive and a one beautiful style now for the first tune do you guys want me to wait or shall I go ahead okay so I hope everyone is keeping up well so now here we are going to draw lots of ovalish, circleish. It can be round, it can be ovalish. They are kind of, you know, very organic orbs of different sizes. We can add more at any time let me just stop it here and then after that we'll see if we want to add more right okay As you see when you're drawing and is there any other tangle is covering that so I would suggest you to take care of that over and under style of the drawing that's it that's enough for the festoons and now I'm done with the all the circles and I'm waiting for a few seconds So in the first tunes we first find out the center place kind of centerish maybe a little bit right and left is absolutely fine maybe you can make a dot maybe you can make this tiny circle in the center and then you are just going to draw one line going outside with little you know uh, with little curve not very straight with the contour and make these tiny dots at the end so if you see in all these three tangles they're the same thing that we draw one shape and then we drew some stripes that's kind of you know uh, enveloping or like kind of uh, covering going above of that shape so that's the same thing that the theme is pretty much similar that's what is my idea while designing this particular tile Again, they can be a little bit more closer they can be a little bit more open it's absolutely your choice I'm just turning it around here so that I don't want to keep my hand over the tile so this is really important to keep turning your tile keep moving your tile so that you get the good angle as well as you don't smudge your work by mistake Yesterday evening I was taking one, uh, you know, acrylic class, acrylic painting class and we were making some monochromatic artwork and 
uh, one of my student uh, she was working at her home and she put her hand over the wet color and that was the disaster and uh, but that's how you learn right once you do that kind of mistake then you will really take care of that next time so it happened yesterday night only last evening rather Keep making these festoons. You can make your collections of all these tangles separately in a 2 inch square tile or maybe a 2 inch square on your paper or diary or your collection separately. You can watch that video which I uploaded yesterday for all these 5 tangles separately. If you don't have those in your collection so far I love these tangles especially these organic tangles because they keep growing in anywhere any direction Awesome. Okay, after that, we are going to draw two more tangles, the quib and the yenix. So first we are going to draw this yenix, one line of yenix, and then we'll draw the quib and then again the yenix. So let's see how it goes. So we'll draw one by one together. Thank you, Gitika's Gallery. Thank you. Uh, Kiranamai, thank you Tanya. So now we are going to draw the CNX in this top right corner of our tile. Okay, I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting Tanya. Uh, I heard that noise what Tanya wrote in the chat. That's fun. Kids keep doing like that. <laughs> keep working so I'm waiting for a few seconds and I'm looking at the chat if you guys have any questions you can write down in the chat and while waiting I just want to remind you guys if you have not subscribed my channel please leave the chat click on the thumbs up button and the subscribe button so whenever I go live or upload any video you will get notification from the YouTube and you won't miss any of the uh, uh, video or any live stream right and that will help me in grow my channel and it's absolutely free for you guys to subscribe my channel okay now let's start the CNX CNX are kind of you know these leaf or the these leaf shape which are joining together and then the aura line around it so I'm starting one year next it's going from this aquafiller and going towards the right top right corner it's going like this one leaf shape and this and from the center we keep on growing it And in the top, we'll make just one this. After that, we are going to make the aura line of this. This is one year next and we are going to draw a few more but before that we are going to draw one quib this 
This is a very drama tangle. This is really beautiful tangle and it requires a little bit more focus. So what I'm doing, I'm just turning my tile around because I'm going to draw this quib from this point to this point where you are seeing my both fingers. So I'm going to do this the start and the end of the quib. So I'm just turning it around here so that it would be, you know, near to me. So I'm starting the quib now from this will be the one point and this will be the second point. So I drew like these, you know, to see kind of the shape, which is the elemental stroke of the thing uh, of the zentangle. And in that one, we are going to draw curvy parallel lines, wavy. Again, it can be a little bit more wavy, a little bit more straight, a little bit more going up and down. It's absolutely how you want to draw it. And but the only thing, draw them in the draw them in the set, like in the parallel. This will be my first strand and we are going to draw lots of strands again it's your choice you can draw two three four five whatever fits in at your play in this space in your tile and whatever you feel like how many you feel like like the other strand will again go and kind of so this tile is getting lots of over and under uh, things so like please draw with focus and don't draw over the previous tangle just stop where the previous tangle is and then start when it ends and it will create the illusion of that like they are kind of entangling with each other like this The third one I'm drawing, it's kind of going here, here. And it will become very clear when we are going to shade them. Then it will look very, very nice. Right now it might be a little bit more confusing and not that uh, clear but when we do the shading based on which uh, strand is going under like this you can see in this example then it will be more clear I can stop here or maybe I can draw one more strand. I think this much is enough. I'm just making these curve a little bit more darker. The start and the end where these strands are kind of stucking. Here you go. So this is web guys and again I'm turning it round and we are going to draw one more of this CNX. So in one more of the CNX we are going to draw in this direction and this time the CNX is going under the web. Okay. So now it's going under the web. So draw in the air and then draw this. Draw in the air. So don't draw over the quip. And if it is very confusing to you, you guys can draw one cube quib, uh, one uh, ENX absolutely on the top. If this over and under is giving little hard time to you, you can just make it easy. Okay. Any tangle you can make it as tough and as easy based on your choice. There is no hard and fast rule to draw exactly the way you are seeing it. So I just want to make it as if this part of the NX is going under the web. 
and this part is over the quilt now I'm drawing the aura line of this quip or oh, I'm sorry the CNX And now in this area we are going to draw these hollies which we drew in the bottom part. Keep drawing, keep filling this whole area. This is a beautiful organic tangle and it keeps on growing in any direction. Yeah, this is kind of the H-O-L-L-I, I think, the spelling, maybe, Hollis. But, uh, you know, in uh, Unfold Mooka, a lot of people call it Unfold Mooka also. And in the Unfold Mooka, like I showed you, um, we sometimes make these, uh, you know, birds a little bigger when we end them. But in the Hollies also, generally, we keep on growing over the strands. So it's kind of the mixture i'm just calling them hollis so maybe you know you can look for both these tangles and they are pretty much similarish in that way That's it. And now I'm going to draw few tipple and few ginger. Ginger we have already worked a lot with these styles in a lot of our uh, other projects. But in this one we are going to draw them with a very tiny, uh, very very tiny uh, design like and maybe like little filled like this this is again a very very beautiful tangle for these organic filler and this is the example of the ginger tangle which I'm just drawing right now and this is the example of the tipple which I'm just using as a filler in my these beautiful tiny intricacies or the negative spaces to fill those I used to call them negative spaces because in my all uh, you know graphite art classes there is a proper lesson plan for the positive negative spaces and we do not an art and all uh, that stuff in that but in Zantangle world we call them interests like the leftward spaces between the two tangles so there are various ways to fill like I'm just filling them with these tiny uh, tiny orbs 
tiny circles and if you want to know the name of the triangle then it's tipple like this is the tipple so you can call them tiny circles you can call them tiny orbs or the tipple or the fillers I love them they kind of you know bring the whole composition together and it looks pretty in my colored version of the same thing let me show you the colored version I filled the whole background with the tipple just give me a few moments I'm going to show you the colored version of it in the class here I'm not going to use the color because in this one I just want to be keep it classic and like just with this black and white theme but you guys can add your own elements you can add your own colors or whatever supplies is lying around at your home you can use that and I would love to see your final tile here you go so if you see in this colored version I made these tipple you know everywhere all the way it's filling everywhere all the way in this colored version and in my this classic one I'm just doing it very tiny and very near to my these shape and in between the festoons where the space is left over like you see here I'm filling these interests with my pen to show that dark uh, shadow kind of in between these festoons awesome and now it's the time for the shading guys we are kind of done and shading is really important and shading uh, is little uh, minutely uh, required in this design so that you know every pattern uh, shows uh, or like is visible very well like first let's do in the quib so if you see in the quib like this part is going down so I'm just using normal Zentangle uh, pencil it's a 2HB pencil uh, normal school pencil will work and if you want a little darker color like you can use this kind of pencil like this is a 3b pencil so it's little darker if you want very very dark you can go higher 3b 4b 5b or maybe you can use the ebony pencil that's the darkest and if you are working with the colored pencil you can use black color pencil so wherever these strands are going under you know I'm laying down light graphite there so keep your pencil very very sharp this is really important in these kind of uh, shading where especially we have very tiny spaces for the shading so I would suggest to you guys to keep your pencil very very sharp and then use very sharp tip kind of the blending stump or the tortillon and just blend it very lightly try not to go out of the line stay in the strands and as you see once you fill those bottom shading area you can see those layers of up and down in the quib 
I hope you can see that in the screen. It's pretty much visible here to me personally. And after the shading, if you want to give a little bit more dark in the corner, you can go ahead and do that. And that will really give you a little bit more clarity. Because once you shade, sometimes it blends very much and then you lose that dark edges. That's it. Here you go. That's the quip, guys. And now we are going to shade in the Yenex. Here is this one. You can shade either just one half of the leaves or maybe you can shade in the center and leave the top side uh, unshaded or the brighter. That's what I'm going to do. I'm laying down graphite in the center of the quib very lightly. Oh, I'm sorry, not in the quib, it's the year next. And in this one, lightly. And then I'm using my blending stump and with these circular motions I'll just lay down and then again one more time very lightly just in the center I hope you can see that once you put the graphite down and you blend it, it changes the whole uh, your this drawing or the whole tangle, right? Now I'm shading in this aquafiller, this one. There are again various ways of shading. You can decide your own style, but right now I'm just doing shading in these borders. in these empty areas this tiny bulb in the center First lay down the graphite on the corner and then just pull it down. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm kind of pulling it down. And after that again I'm going to the corners one more time just to create the value. lightly blending one more time that's it so if I want I can make some dotted lines or some more designs in these maybe later if I want and maybe I can go one more time with the black pen. You see some of these white spots in the black. Maybe to make it more darker and to create the more contrast. Okay, now we are working on the pepper. So for the pepper, I'm laying down graphite on the corner of the pepper. Here 
side is one festoon and I didn't draw the lines in that one. That's so funny. It happened with me so many times. But that when I draw a lot of different patterns together that uh, at very last when I see that then I say oops I leave that. I left that one and I missed that one. Very tiny small circular motion is the best for the blending. That's what I feel. And then again one more time. Because some of the after first blending we see some of the white spaces are popping up into the corner. So if we do it one more time we easily cover them up. And That is really important to get the beautiful blending. Now I already have that char that not charcoal. I'm sorry, uh, not I already have that graphite in my tortillon, and then I'm going to use that in the center area just to give the soft blending. I hope you can see that tiny, you know, uh, curve kind of like up and down in these tangles. And now it's the time for the festoons. And the same kind of blend, same kind of shading the edges with the graphite pencil and the center with the soft blending just with the tortillon. So. Let's first lay down the graphite on the every edge of these festoons. So you guys can also work one more time on this design and you can make it and you can this one maybe you are working with me and you can make it classic like that and the other one you can make it with the colors with the color pencil with the color markers or with whatever uh, you know watercolor markers whatever you have you can use that so in this one again now I'm blending the corner and I'm just laying down in the center lightly with the same graphite filled tortillon we do a lot of charcoal drawing also in my paid classes so then I have separate tortillons for the charcoal so that's what is coming These are the festoons, guys. Make it more awesome. And now it's the time for the hollies. So if you see in this one, like again, this is on the top and this is on the bottom. So here I'm just doing in the bottom part. So again, over and under. Or you can call it a hollybaw technique. In Zentangle we call it a hollybaw. So there is a tangle named hollybaw and which Molly uh, deconstructed. And that's her surname hollybaw and that's why the name of that tangle goes on that. And that's a, basically they call it as a technique also where we draw one uh, strand on the top and the other on under. And then we keep on shading like that the way we are doing in this hollies. 
so yeah that's the technique just came to my mind right now and the source also where we started in the same way we are going to draw maybe I would like to draw one holly here it's giving me a little more you know mm. a little bit more drama it was looking a little plain to this side so I just drew one more so as you can see there is no hard and fast rule and you can draw as many as less based on the space when you feel it's looking more balanced to you your whole artwork your whole tile so if you take care of your all design principles which is what I used to take care of like the variety as well as the movement or the unity and when you feel that you are achieving those uh, principles in your tile it means you are doing good that's what I do that's what my style of deciding designing my tile so whatever makes you happy you can just go like that keep tangling keep drawing until your heart desires you feel like that yes I'm feeling good it's working for me For me, it's kind of the art therapy session because for me, they are very, very therapeutic. I feel I'm doing kind of the meditation while drawing these kind of pattern drawing. So, this is it and we can draw more like we can fill the whole base like in this colored one like with the tipple it's your choice thank you alvina thank you amandeep like that now there are two main important steps in any kind of zentangle artwork we are done with the tangle we are done with the shade now the initial and the sign and the appreciation they are the most important thing so whenever we are tangling we should not forget that so to sign on the front of the tile we generally sign just with our initial like this is my chop chop is like the initial nidhi prakash and p after so many designs i just finalized this one there are various various ways you can design your own chop so whatever your initials are you can just write them in whatever creative way just write your initials in the front of your tile and in the back of your tile i would like you to sign your full name today's date what is today's date 17th april Thank you, Ajay. And you can hashtags all of your uh, tangles which we did today. Like we did Festune, we did Pepper, we did Yenex, we did Quib, we did Aquafiller, we did we used Hollis, we used Tipple, you can write down Nidhi Prakash Arts and YouTube Live. Awesome. That's it. And now it's the time for the appreciation. 
so i really want to say thank you to all of you to join me and i'm very happy that we all drew this beautiful tile uh, together and last thing left which i forgot that i showed told you that i'm going to use the white jelly roll pen here which i forgot in this one as you see in this one i left the white sparkle but in this one i'm using this white jelly roll pen and i'm making this a sparkle with that so you can do that and maybe i'll go one more time over it to make it more you know um, bright once it dries because ink was not flowing that well in the beginning and then that's how you can use it so take your tile in your hand and be happy that we all drew this beautiful organic tile together i hope you all enjoyed it and tomorrow we are going to meet each other for the spiral art session and next saturday we are going to meet for this uh, zendala and these are few other mandalas for next saturdays in the may i'm planning so stay tuned maybe i upload few more videos of these kind of focus tangles and the string tangles in my youtube keep tangling enjoy bye bye guys don't forget to upload your artwork on social media and don't forget to tag me bye bye